wakati mmoja. news Hujambo mtazamaji popote pale ulipo karibu kwa taarifa za mbiu ya KTN leo hii ikiwa ni tarehe 25 Mwezi ni watatu mwaka elfu mbili na kumi na saba jina langu ni Mary Kilobi mtangazaji wa ishara ni Meresha Witi tupate taarifa kuu Kiongozi wa upinzani Raila Odinga atiwa mjini Mombasa tayari kwa mkutano wa hapo kesho uwanjani tononoka Usalama waimarishwa huko Garissa kutokana na mizozo ya malisho. Na mwanahabari Patrick Mimo akutana na maaskari wa mabunge ya county Sergeant at Arms. Na msemaji wa serikali Eric Raithe ameisitiza kwamba maafisa wa polisi walifanya kile ambacho kinahitajika kisheria kuhusiana na patashika ambayo ilishuhudiwa huko Kinangu siku mbili zilizopita. Kiraidha mwataka wa Kenya kudumisha amani na kuviomba vyombo vya habari kuwa makini na taarifa ambazo wanapeperusha wakati huu wa kampeni. Well to determine and to make a, 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 an objective judgment on actions during security meetings or during security operations of any nature and the decisions made to disperse, to allow and all that, you, you require a lot of information. What is the situation analysis? What was the developing situation? What was the intelligence behind it? And knowing the amount of planning which has been done knowing the amount of work the inspector general's office has done into you know sensitizing police officers done with other even international agencies i choose to believe that the security team in kwale acted impartially in the best interests of the public and did that not to impede the ambitions of any politician or the capacity of any politician to campaign for their party, but to ensure that these campaigns go on in a situation where there is law and order. And let me repeat it again, the media as partners, the power you have has, is capable of making any hotspot in this country, or any perceived hotspot, cold. Make it cold, make it calm, and ensure that every party is campaigning uh, during the campaign period, before, during the elections, and after the election. We need to go about our own businesses just like any other uh, civilized democracy in the world. Siku moja baada ya polisi kuvuruga mkutano wa chama cha ODM sehemu ya Kinango, viongozi kutoka kaunti ya Kwale wameshtumu tukio hilo na kusisitiza kwamba hawakufanya ama hawatakufa moyo mwanahabari wetu Tobias Chanji anarifu. Akiongoza shutuma hizo katika uwanja wa Jogoo, mbunge wa Matuga Hassan Mwenyoha na Zuleha Hassan ambaye ni mbunge mteule wamesema kuwa serikali ya Jubilee inarejesha taifa katika enzi za kidikteta na kuwa hawataruhusu. Alisimatia gasi na watu wa Jubilee na ndio sababu sisi tuko hapa ili kulaani kitendo hicho na kusema ya kwamba serikali ya Jubilee ni lazima iondoke ili tuweze kupata nafasi. Ugatuzi ulileta na Raila Amolo. Raila Amolo. 
Mheshimiwa Mvuri ahange kuwa governor kama si Raila Amolo. Na hivi sasa katiba mpya imesema kama kuna freedom of association. Kwa hivyo tunashangaa sana kama karne hii ya mwaka huu kwamba kuna polisi wanaweza kudisrupt a peaceful rally ambayo ilikuwa inafanyika jana. Wawaniaji wa governor na useneta wakasema kuwa hatua ya polisi si ya kikatiba na kusisitiza kuwa hawataogopa kuendelea kupiga vita jubilii. Wamemlaumu gavana Salim Vuria kwa tukio hilo. Lakini katika taarifa aliyoituma, Mvuria amesema kuwa hasimamii vyombo vya usalama na kuwa hakuhusika kivyovyote na kutibuka kwa mkutano huo. Pengine walipoiona ile tia gas wakaona pengine ni moshi wa kuni. Lakini mwili ulipoanza kuwashwa wakajua hawa waliokuja ni maadui. Kama wangekuja wakasema waondokeni, tungeondoka. Lakini sasa kwa sababu ya zile ari zao, kwa sababu ninajua watu wa sehemu nyingine ambao walikuja wale maaskari walikuwa haja yao nkutuumiza sisi tarehe moja tusiwe katika mchujo. Katiba yetu iko wazi, kuna haki ya watu kufanya mikutano na uwezi kufukuza watu kwa mkutano wao. Ndugu zetu, kina mama zetu, baba zetu walipigwa viboko, walimwagiwa tear gas na serikali ya jubilii na ndugu yetu mvuri ni sawa ama ni makosa. Tobias Chaji, Kete News, Kaunti ya Kwale. Kiongozi wa chama cha ODM Raila Odinga mawasili Mombasa na kuelekea katika uwanja wa Mbuzi alipozuru uwanja wa michezo ambao unaendelea kujengwa na serikali ya kaunti ya Mombasa akiandamana na gavana wa Mombasa Ali Hassan Joho na viongozi kutoka kaunti ya Mombasa walijifurahisha na mbinu za kusakata ama kucheza kandanda katika uwanja huo Odinga yupo katika kaunti ya Mombasa kuhudhuria mkutano wa siasa ambao unatarajiwa hapo kesho katika uwanja wa Tononoka Sasa wamejenga kiwanda ya kisasa. Kiwanda ya kisasa kwa vijana. Ah sio. Hii ni ka, kazi kazi ambayo imefanyika hapa ni kazi maradufu. Tena ni maridadi, sio? Sasa watoto hata kina mama wanako na mahali ya kufanya mazoezi.